Hello, today I will be starting uh, the social, cultural, education and financial reforms of the Meiji era. The Meiji restoration stands as the most important event in the history of Japan. Although the actual event constituted little more than a shift of power within the old ruling structure, it led to a total change in the political scenario of Japan and also in the East Asian and world history. It changed from the old ruling structure to a centralized state under the Meiji rulers. The Meiji restoration constituted the major event in the Japanese East Asian and world history. While discussing about the social change, during the Meiji period, the three broad categories which can be located during this period was the ruling class, the bourgeoisie and the peasantry. There was a total change in the social uh, scenario of Japan. The educational social change, the change in the scenario of women could be located during this period. The modernization was one of the main agenda of the Meiji rulers and they went to the West to learn about the modern structure of state, the modern social system, modern education, modern economic process. So there was a total change in the modern structure of Meiji Japan. The Meiji rulers modified the country and from a feudal state it ultimately transformed into a modernized Japan which brought about westernization into the very social structure of Japan's social life. <music> Education was the main social system that changed during this period. In this period, all children were allowed to go to the school. In 1871, the new Japanese government established the Ministry of Education and the Minister of Education was Mori Arinori. He brought about a total change in the educational structure. The Imperial University of Japan was also established during this period. From a feudal system to a centralized democracy was the main agenda of the Meiji rulers. There was change in the social class in the occupational structure, in the total ideology of Meiji Japan. There were different social classes and these social classes could now change their social status from one class to another. They could pray or they could um, follow any religion they would like. The people of the lower social classes could be raised to a higher status during this period. Because of this modernized structure, there was a total change in the social scenario of Japan. People were not discriminated. There were laws imposed to stop discrimination of lower class of people. So there was an equality among the social structure in Meiji Japan. And because of these laws that helped Japan to become the country that it is today. Another change was noticed in the roles of women. Women were given the same status as that of men. And until 1946, they were not given the voting rights. Women were given jobs as equal to that of men. Initially, women were engaged to do household work, cook, look after the children. But after the Meiji restoration and with the entry of Western modernization, there was a total change in the scenario of women. They could work in factories as a result of industrialization. All laws were equal between men and women. They were allowed to go out. They were allowed to choose their own occupation. They were allowed to choose their own spouse. So there was a total change in the lives of women during the Meiji Japan. Next, we could notice about the cultural reforms of Meiji Japan. The Meiji era 
brought about modernization to Japanese cultural life. The Japanese cultural landscape changed drastically. There was change in the officials, in the educators, in the artists. And they began to explore the Western cultural forms of life. There was an entire change in the cultural spectrum of Japan during the Meiji period. The Japanese military, for example, decided to follow the Western military style and they started adapting military bands like the Western countries. There was a total change in the cultural arena of Japan. The military music was introduced. There was a military bands, military music, which was an adaptation of the Western cultural forms. Moreover, there was change in the forms of theatre, there was change in the forms of uh, uh, books, there was change, different types of plays were adapted, which was similar to that of the Western plays. So there was a real change in the cultural arena of Japan during the Meiji period. Moreover, there were books, fictions, poetry which were written in accordance with the Western lines. Another cultural effect we see that government patronized theatres. Different forms of theatre became very popular during this period. For example, the Kabuki theatre, which was uh, very important during this period and this was patronized by the Meiji government. Moreover, the play writers were given importance during this period. Different type of plays were organized on western lines. So modernization and westernization of the Japanese culture was the major agenda during this period. Another very important thing that we see that the culture that emerged with the Meiji restoration was a typical western culture which was adopted by the Japanese people and the Japanese people coexisted western culture and Japanese culture and it became a mixed culture which was an important effect of Japanese social life. Moreover, in the late Meiji period, this cultural mixture became very important in the cultural spectrum of Japan. The education being one of the major standpoint of the Meiji era. The Meiji government realized of universal public education. The Meiji government and the new leadership thought that with the introduction of Western education, Japan, Meiji Japan would be modernized to a great extent. So public education system had a great importance during the Meiji period. A mission, the Iwakara mission was sent abroad to European countries and to USA to adapt the Western system of education. The ideas of decentralization of local school was given importance. Moreover, the national education system emerged during this period. Moreover, in 1871, the Ministry of Education was introduced and the Ministry of Education played a very important role in modernizing Japanese educational system during the Meiji period. Moreover, there was a creation of the Imperial University of Japan, which was later known as the Tokyo University. The educational system of Japan underwent a very great change during the Meiji period. Elementary education became compulsory, middle school also became very important. Mori Arinori was the first educational minister of Meiji Japan who brought about great change in the Japanese educational system. Moreover, it is seen that vocational education also became very important during this period because, in, because through vocational education, Western vocational training system was introduced in Japan. In, by 1890, the imperial rescript of education was signed and through it, 
the Japanese educational system underwent a drastic change during the Meiji period. Moreover, the curriculum was centered on moral education. Therefore, we see that during the Meiji period, the main agenda of the Meiji government was westernization of education, westernization of culture, westernization of social structure. These agenda made the Meiji government a popular government and through this agenda, the Meiji government moved forward to bring about a great change in the Japanese social structural system. In the financial uh, area, we see there was a great change during the Meiji period. The industrial revolution in Meiji in Japan started with the Meiji era and there was a great change in the life of the Japanese people during the Meiji era. First of all, industries were given importance during this period on western lines because the western system was adopted by the Meiji government. So industrialization which started during the Meiji period which led to the western system of industrial development in Japan and the Iwakara mission which went abroad they adopted the western system of eastern system of industrial development from Europe and USA and they wanted to establish the same system in Meiji Japan moreover the bank of Japan was also established in 1877 and taxation system was introduced, industry was introduced during this time, special importance was given to textile industry, cotton industry, silk industry, etc. Moreover, there was a great technological change in the, in the manufacturing system of Japan and the European technological, technology was adopted by the Japanese during this period. So we see that there was a great change in the financial arena of Japan during this period. Moreover, there was a change in the standard of living of the people because with the adaptation of western system of industrialization, with the adaptation of western system of economic development, there was modernization throughout Japan and there was change in the industrial structure of Japan. Moreover, the big business concerns, the Zaibatsus, were given great importance during this period, especially different companies like Mitsubishi and Mitsui, they became very popular during the period. The Asian market became very strong due to this industrial development of Japan during the Meiji period. Economic structure was becoming stronger, the industrial development was moving forward. Moreover, there was change in the social, in the educational, in the economic structure of Japan during this period. Another thing we see that the Japanese in, during this period adapted the market economy and they adopted this from North American and European state. So there was a great change in the currency, in the banking, in the taxation laws, in the stock market, in the communication system during the Meiji period. So while discussing the social, the financial, educational, cultural uh, development during the Meiji period, we could notice a great westernization being adapted from the West to change the whole scenario of Japan from a feudal state to a modern state during the Meiji era. The social change in Japan brought about remarkable development during the Meiji Japan. The three broad categories into which uh, the social structure was divided during the pre-modern period was the bourgeoisie, the ruling class and the peasantry. With the Meiji restoration, there was no restriction in the change of social structure during this period. During this period, people could move from one social class to another. 
there was no restriction in this area. Moreover, it is seen that there was a trend to bring about westernization in the social structure of Japan during the Meiji period. Education was the main social system that changed during Meiji Japan. In this period, school was for all children. Compulsory elementary education was one of the main agenda during the Meiji period. Middle school was also given importance. Moreover, higher education was also given importance during the Meiji period. The universal educational system was introduced. The University of Japan, which was renamed as the Tokyo University, was established during this period. In 1871, the Ministry of Education was introduced and there was a great change in the social arena. Social hierarchy changed during the Meiji period. Previously, Japan followed a feudal system with strict class restriction. But with the Meiji restoration, strict class restriction was reduced. A person could move from one class to another. So class hierarchy was not seen. They could change their occupational system. This change brought about a great expectation for the Meiji people. With the new social structure, Meiji Japan moved towards a western style of country during this period. Moreover, what is seen during this period, the lives of people became very simple during Meiji period. And with this modernization, Meiji Japan could be moving towards a new area where they could move with themselves and move along the Western social system. During Meiji era, the cultural spectrum of Japan changed. Westernization brought about new thinking, new thoughts among the Meiji people and the Meiji people adapted this Western style of cultural development during this period. Military, for example, wanted to introduce the military bands as that of the Western military system. Military music was also introduced during this period. During this period, another very important change was that there was a change in the play, in the theater of Meiji Japan. Western cultural forms were introduced in the theater and in the playwriting during the Meiji period. Moreover, during this period, the government got support of the Western leaders and these Western culture which entered into the very Japanese life brought about a great change in the Western cultural reform of the Meiji period. Moreover, uh, different types of play, different types of theatrical forms, different artistical forms on Western lines were introduced uh, during this period. Another very important thing was the Kabuki play. The Kabuki play was one of the very important theatrical form of Meiji Japan which became very popular during this period and there was a reform of the Kabuki during this period. Another thing that the older cultural system was changed by the modern cultural system which was adopted on the western lines. So by 1880 there was a great change in the Meiji cultural system which changed totally the cultural spectrum of Meiji Japan. To summarize the whole thing, I would like to say that Meiji restoration was a very important event in the history of Meiji Japan. Meiji restoration brought about change in the social, cultural, education and financial life of Japan, Meiji Japan. The social 
life of Japan was running on western lines. Western system was adopted by the Meiji rulers to modernize Japan during this period. The Meiji period which existed from 1868 to 1912 went about a great change in the social system of the country. Women changed, the roles of women changed during this period. Women were given importance as that of men. They were given equality as that of men. Initially, the work of women were to cook, look after the household, look after the children. But with the Meiji Restoration, there was a great change in the lives of Japanese women. They could work, out, work in factories. They could work, go out of their house. They could choose their occupation and they could choose their spouse also. In the educational system also, there was a great change. Education became compulsory for all children. Middle school education was also given importance. Education also ran along the western lines. The Iwakara mission was sent to the western countries to adopt the western system of education. The Ministry of Education was established in 1871, which brought about a great change in the education system of Japan. On the other hand, the universal education was given importance. University education was given importance. The Imperial University was established in Japan, which was later known as the Tokyo University. Moreover, vocational education was also given importance during this period. On the other hand, the curriculum was established on moral education. So there was a great change in the education system of Japan. In the case of financial development, industrialization or industrialization was the major agenda of the Meiji government. Industrial revolution which started during the Meiji period brought about great change in the industrial, in the economic structure of Japan. Moreover, it is seen that western lines of industrial development was adopted. Manufacturing industries were given importance, textile industry, cotton industry, silk industry was given importance. The Bank of Japan was also established during this period. During this period, the total economic structure changed. There was change in taxation, there was change in, there was change in taxation, there was change in stock market, there was change in the banking system. So there was a total change in the financial structure of the country. So with the major restoration, the social, cultural, education and financial development took place in Meiji Japan. Thank you.